What is up? Okay, so this week on my program, we get a refeed day, which means that on Wednesday, the four carbs that I get in my meal plan, I get to have white starches, sugar, uh, sugary foods, etc. Um, what happens when you follow a, a pretty strict, very strict nutrition plan after a while is that um, you're, when you lift heavy weights, like after a leg day, you need the um, sugar and whatnot to restore your glycogen. So um, I am making peanutty peanut butter squares. So if you are seeing this, it is because you have said that you are interested in this recipe. So what it is in this delicious bowl of amazingness. First of all, what you wanna do, um, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You want to lightly beat a couple eggs. You want those to be room temperature. Um, I just went and took a shower after I got out of my sauna so that I knew that when I came back, they would be ready to go. So you want a cup and a half of all natural creamy peanut butter. I actually um, am tweaking this a little bit this time. I did um, a cup of creamy peanut butter and half a cup of crunchy. I um, also added a half a cup of pure maple syrup, two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, not imitation, um, two large eggs at room temperature, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda that is gluten free. So you're gonna preheat your oven to 350. You are going to lightly oil, spray oil your pan. I've already done that. You are going to mix your peanut butter, your honey, your extract, your eggs and baking soda in a large bowl. If you don't have honey, you can use syrup. I didn't have that much honey, so I used syrup. Okay. So I'm gonna add my eggs now since they are nice and room. Temperature. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> I let my dog lick the one cup measuring thing afterwards. I know that's kind of gross, but I'll double wash it in the uh, dishwasher. And she, like I put it over here for her, and by the time she was done, she was like out by my garage door. She was like trailing that measuring cup all over the kitchen. It was hilarious. Okay, so I'm getting my eggs mixed up in here. And the way this works is you put it into a nine by nine pan. My pan isn't quite nine by nine square, but it's pretty close. I'm gonna say it's about a, I don't know, nine by six, eight by six. Is that even a thing? I don't know. I also, you guys, to switch it up a little bit, I put a cup of Rice Krispies in it. We also get Rice Krispies as one of our um, carbs on Wednesday for refeed day. So I thought, what the heck? I got this huge box of Rice Krispie treats that I will never eat. And so I am going to give it a shot. So we'll see. Oh my gosh, you, I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. Okay, so I think I've got that pretty well mixed in. I food prep today, so my favorite, I can lick my fingers, right, because I'm the only one eating these. My favorite um, Pampered Chef spoons are in the dishwasher. So you are just, this is so easy, you guys. It's like one, two, five ingredients and five steps, which six steps, which is my all-time favorite way to bake because I don't like to measure stuff. This is about as fancy as I get. I do make a apple banana muffin um, that is also from the program that I follow. And those are super good and also super easy. If it's like 45 things that I gotta go to three different stores for and it's gonna take me like two hours to prep it, four hours to bake it, and then like 30 seconds for me to scarf it in my face, I'm not really that interested. I uh, I like to eat. I love to try new foods. I like to try to um, cook new foods. But I have learned to treat food as fuel instead of entertainment. Um, so the way I view it is just a little different. I don't, 
I like my prep to be easy. Um, healthy food doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to take forever and it still can taste delicious. I mean, these are going to be so good. I've had these before. Uh, one of my coaches uh, made them for our challenge group meeting that we had last month. Um, and she made them for a coach retreat that we had here uh, this past fall. So um, I'll be interested to see how they turn out with the Rice Krispies in them. So that's it. You just put it in your little bowl. Taste the butter. There you go. You are going to put that in your 350 degree oven and you are gonna bake those for 20 to 23 minutes. So that's it. I will uh, shoot you a picture um, when they're finished.